Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Medieval Engineers on the Radio Man 03. It is awesome to have you along. Thank you so much for your continued support on this series. It is absolutely fantastic. All your ideas are fantastic. I mean, just really, really great ideas. And I can't thank you enough for them. And those of you who might be new to the channel, do check out the comment section on each video because you're going to see people with all kinds of really neat, different suggestions for the builds we're doing here on the series in this Season 3. Oh, man, I tell you. Wrong button. There you go. V. Tab back, okay. We're in the kitchen, which we've never finished. Uh, we, we set this little oven up right here, and we're gonna keep this little oven. I feel like that's the kind of a nice little bread oven. But uh, Keen Software House this week in their Tuesday update came out with a brand new oven. Look at this guy right here. I've got enough stuff to craft up two of them. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna craft up two, one for up here and one for down in the inn. Let's take that guy right there. Pretty handsome looking, huh? Pretty handsome looking. Let's get one right up here. I just cooked up some food. Uh, we'll have to do some more. Let's see here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Yeah. Um, bum, 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 bum. Okay. It needs. It wants to be out a little ways from that wall right there, doesn't it? Mm hmm. So we'll set it down here temporarily, and we'll probably move it. Is what we'll wind up doing. So it's got a little bit of a back area here that doesn't want to be up against that wall right there. But let's take a look on the inside of this thing here. Look at this. Now, I believe... Uh, let's let's get some... Uh, do we have any flower bags? No, no, and no. And I don't know that I have any wheat up here either. Hold on, don't, don't... Let's not, let's not... Oh, here we do. Of course we do. There we go. Let's do that. Let's get these guys put in here. And let's make up some flour... As you cook stuff, it's supposed to kick it out onto that side shelf right there. So let's give this a whirl and see what happens here. There we go. And we'll just eliminate that right there. Bam! We're good to go. And we're going to throw those in there. And we're going to need a little bit of fuel. Well, that's not much. Uh, but let's do this. And craft. Maybe not enough of it was done. Yeah, we don't have enough fuel in there. Let's get some more. Uh, let's get some more sticks. We've got stuff in here. We can use this stuff right here. What I want to do today is get our food situation kind of organized a little bit, and we'll go back out to the uh, the the. Uh... Oh, there's a, there's a loaf of bread right there on the top. Okay, sweet. Let's let's do some more of these real quick. Let's do up, uh, let's go control double click. We'll do five of them and let's see what happens here. It may or may not kick them out up to the top shelf here. Maybe what I have to do is cook something different in here. Let's try that. Let's try, uh, let's try a little something different here and we'll see what we, what we come up with. Uh, let's get these guys out of here and we'll throw those in there. Let's do a, let's do a goulash. Oh, there's, there we go. Okay, so the initial inventory goes into this slot right here, and then the overflow goes over into this side right here. I've got a goulash made. Oh, there's the goulash right there. All right, nice. Okay, so what about, uh, let's do a one, two, three, four, five. Let's do five mushroom stews and see what happens here. That is pretty awesome, isn't it? Let me take the, let me get the, all the stuff out of there so we can see it working. That is pretty cool. There's a mushroom stew. Very nice. Oh, that is a great addition to the game. It, it, it gets me excited about the next update, too, because it's obvious that they're working on things that are really going to um, immerse you even further into the world. You know what I mean? The things I've been talking about that we've been talking about over this series and, and getting in with the mods and stuff like that and all the little knick-knack things you can have in here just to bring the world to life. It's really kind of cool. Okay, so that's good. Let's, let's, oh, we're still making one more. Let's, let's go ahead and, oh, I got to clear that. Clear that. Let's do that right there. There we go. I wonder if I lost the ingredients for that. I may have. I didn't notice. <coughs> Excuse me. And then we can just leave this stuff in here. And we've got the food sitting here. That's really awesome. <laughs> Look at that. I've got some mushroom soups on me right now. So there we go. Everything your heart could desire right there. Uh, let's take... Um, I've got, I got seven soups on me. We're good there, right? Yeah, we're good there. Okay, so eventually what I want to do in this room is I want to have 
a food storage area. So like this will move and we'll probably move this bar area right here too and maybe move the bar over to the other side, but we'll make this like this, the kitchen side because uh, you know, it'd be kind of fun to break bake the bread in there. Although this thing here, just the way it, um, you know, spits the food out like that, that's pretty cool. I wonder if I could take this wall out and put this inside this cook area. It doesn't look like it's gonna be wide enough. It does look like it takes up an entire block. Let's grab a big boy block and see what it does here if we do this here real quick. Yeah, it looks to me like it probably takes up the entire block, huh? So it might be difficult to get something like that in there. Yeah, but that's okay, look at that. We could work around that, right? We could definitely work around that and come up with some other ideas, but it's really, really cool. Okay, so that takes care of that. Um, how much stuff do we have to move here? We've got quite a bit of stuff in here. Lots of pumpkins, lots of food. You know what? I will do that on my own time. You guys don't want to watch me move food from one room to the other. So we'll leave this the way it is. Uh, as a matter of fact, yeah, let's do that. Let's just leave that the way it is. Let's go down and take a look. I don't have any food in my inventory other than the food we want to eat, right? Yeah. Actually, let's... Bear with me for one second here. Let's do this right here and that right there. There we go. Perfect. We'll do that right there. Drop those things off. Now, Karain wants to go check on the apple tree. I agree. I want to check on it too. I meant to check on it last episode and I forgot to. Uh, you're going to notice that all four ropes are back on here now. Uh, let's check the other side and see if these guys are behaving. All four ropes are back. Nice. Okay. So I wonder what that was. Just a, a little buggy thing going on, I guess, huh? Um, you know what? While we're here, there's a barbarian behind the, uh, the wall back here. I would not be surprised if he didn't start swinging at me. Let's take this stone out with us. I did not get that. I can hear him. I can hear him jumping around, bouncing around back there. We'll just leave him back there. He deserves it. Although I do want to show you guys that they're fixed. At least they appeared to be fixed last time I looked at one. There we go. And we should be able to drop all this stuff off into one of these guys right here. We need this because we've got a few more stone things inside the house that we gotta take care of, so, in the inn. Let's do that right there, okay, beautiful. Yeah, it's it's dark out, the sun just went down a little while ago, but it'll come back up here again shortly. Okay, the apple tree has not done a whole lot of growing. That's weird, huh, because I've spent a lot of hours out here. So I could pick him, but I'm not going to, I'm just gonna leave him be. And, and let him do what he's doing. Let's check out the farm. I'm not sure what we planted last time. I think it was a bunch of wheat, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, there we go. See how he's walking now? He looks good, doesn't he? He's at least back to what he was before he got all buggy and stuff. Tell you one thing though, their sword play is no better. That's right, walk into it, fool. <laughs> Give me your stuff. Uh, yeah, I believe it's all wheat in here. Ooh, wheat, pumpkins, and herbs. Look at that. We should probably harvest this, huh? Yeah, let's harvest it real quick. Okay, bear with me. If we don't, I'd hate to see this stuff rot and go to waste. You know what I mean? It's just so much good food. Oh, wow, some of it did get picked already. That's because these things like to move when you're not in here. Hopefully it didn't harvest uh, too soon. I don't think it will harvest the crops, though, unless they are ready. Oh, there it goes. It got stuck again. I'm not convinced this stuff works great just yet. I'm hoping that they're still working on it and going to get it improved. Because, yeah, there's no reason why this shouldn't be rolling smooth like it was the first day we put it in. And voila. I always get hurt on that side. Perfect. All right. And I'll worry about picking the crops out of there afterwards. At least we've got them now where they need to be. And that is inside the harvesters. So that's perfect. All right. So that's wheat, pumpkins, and herbs. Um, flax. Flax is what we need to get going on. Some of you guys want to see windows put into the buildings that we're putting up. It's going to take a lot of flax and a whole lot of iron. Matter of fact, I'm going to close that right there just for safety's sake, okay? Just for safety's sake. Let's grab some of the stone back. Let's drop off. We're going to grab um, 
these sticks. We're gonna drop that off. Uh, drop that goulash off, those herbs. Let's grab those and those and those, and we'll do that and that right there, and bam. Okay, beautiful. Let's go out and do a little bit of work. Obviously, we've had some more trees grow in. This one was not here about five minutes ago, but it's gone now. Okay, so you guys are happy with the inn. Uh, some would like to see a better front door, but I just don't know what I'm going to do to change up the front door, so... Uh, I guess I'm good with the construction of it, and it looks nice on the outside, and I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way things jut around on it and, and look in general. So I'm good with that. Come on, get up there. a boy. Up you go. So yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm generally good with how the inn looks from the outside. And then I did change out the bridge a little bit here, so we've got a railing on both sides now and a wood walkway coming in with a little bit of stone showing on the edges. I think that adds a little bit of flavor to it. May, I wonder if this should come all the way over to here, this rail. Probably so, huh? The rail probably should come right over to here. We'll take this ivy and move it. Yeah, we should do that. Yeah, we should definitely do that. Oh, do I have room? I do. Okay, let's do that. Let's get this one out of here. And this one out of here. And we'll put, a, we'll put the rail from here over to there, so that way nobody falls off the edge. There we go. All right, the inn. We're in. Okay. Um, we need to go downstairs to the tavern. And we have these guys right here that have not been put together. These are going to add some structural integrity to the build, for sure. They're going to be a big help. This is the upper sort of seating area for our bar, the tavern. What do you think? Bar tavern. Hmm? 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 <laughs> One, two, and another one right there. Bam, that's good there. Chopped down a few trees this afternoon. I thought, you know what, I'm going to get a little things uh, chopped up and stuff ready to go. But we're so far along on this project right now that I think we've got enough material for which pretty much whatever we want to do, we can do it. So I wouldn't mind getting um, uh, some of the rooms set up a little bit. We need uh, we need metal pieces. Get some of this, uh, this uh, kind of side work that you always kind of put off. Uh, taken care of today and a couple more ideas too uh, let's go G let's get a solid wall and I don't want to lose this interesting staircase right here I like the way it looks so I'm gonna go ahead and just put this guy right here <clears throat> excuse me and he's going to fill this in real nice and I think what we can put back here is maybe um, I don't know we could put just some, just some stuff, some barrels and things, maybe a couple of shelves in here, just as kind of a storage area that this would be in, in right in this area here. And then we're going to take this guy right here. Oh, that's right. We don't know how this guy comes apart, huh? Uh, do I need... I don't have nothing in there. Let's see if this... It's tearing it apart, isn't it? Yes, it is tearing it apart. Yeah, it definitely tore it apart. Dang it. Um, okay, so... What does this require for? Uh, some sticks and some small stones. Okay, let's let's see if we can't get this put back together again. There we go. Okay, perfect. <clears throat> so it's not something you can pick up, it looks like. You definitely got to break it up. Do I have enough stuff to make another one? I'm shy of the stones. Just shy a little bit on the stones right now. Okay, let's let's think about this right now. So you come through the front door. And um, let's do... We're going to move this one over just a little bit more. That's why I took it out. Because we've got to move it a little bit. One right there. Okay. Let's get some more of those small stones. And we'll get another one put up real quick. Uh, there should be a bunch of them out here. This is where we found them last time. There's one, two, three. I'd have to say this: the stones have definitely uh, been on the increase in the game. Look at these piles right here. Nice. That should be plenty right there to get us in. Do we pick up a map? We talk about that, the fact that when I was picking up stones, I got that piece of treasure map, so they are kind of just hidden randomly around the world, and so you just kind of bump into them as you're scooping stuff off, off the ground, you know, like berries or anything else, I imagine, probably. 
Let's do that right there, and that right there, and we're going to make another one of these guys right here. Beautiful. I think two is enough. Oh, we already got that on the hot bar. Okay, number nine. Hmm. I've got stuff in there. Uh, what is there anything? I, I need I need some space for something here. I need some space. Uh, let's go over to the smithy. You know what? Before we do that here, let's 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 work on something right here quick. I had an idea for over here too. Uh, we're gonna need this guy here, and this guy here. Um. Let's start right there. Number five. Not going to go down there, are you? It's not deep enough in the ground. Okay, so let's go number six then instead. Oh, I see. I see. Okay, I see what's going on here. Um, hmm... That I don't like. What if I do number six over here? Let's go Z. What right here? Hold on. I'm trying to come up with like a does uh, something for the entrance way. Something a little more interesting. Maybe what we do is we get rid of this one here. We leave this area open down here. And we do a little something around the top here. Just to show that this is more of an entrance type way. And we'll do... These guys all the way around. Something like that. And then let's go back to G. Let's grab this guy right here. I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a whirl here and see what happens here. Won't let me spin it. That's, that's, that's where my confusion lies. <laughs> it's not that you have to spin it. You've got to use your mouse wheel to scroll through it. I don't know if this is going to work. I'm hoping I can put a little piece of roof on here. We'll see. Without it interfering with the stuff above it. We shall see. Uh, and then this piece of wood roofing is what I would really like to put up here. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to do that. Oh, hello, buckaroo. You got nothing in your hand. Did you, did you come to a sword fight with no weapon? Uh, he was the dumbest of the barbarians. <laughs> yes, you are the dumbest of the barbarians. Get out of here. Get away from the bag so I can get to it. You fool. A fight with no weapon. <laughs> well, he probably used it up on something of ours, is what happened, huh? Jerk. I tell you, these guys. Wonder what he beat up on. Oh, my inventory is just chock full of goodness here. It's just so full of goodness. Um. Uh, inventory. Let's eat this uh, shroom steak and these herbs. 
There we go. Beautiful. Uh, what if you're asking me if we can hang the map pieces up? I don't believe we can hang the map pieces up. That'd be nice, though, huh? That works. That works right there like that. Yeah, there we go. All right. Beautiful. Uh, I have one left, and it's not exactly the kind I want for this right here. And I have another one of these guys here, too. Um... Okay, we we're going to dump our inventory off a little bit, huh? Let's get rid of some of this stone. We'll get to drop the stone off, and then we're going to work on getting um, well, the next piece of the puzzle put together, right? But we got to go back to timber and stuff. We're, we're kind of done with the stone right now. Let's drop that off into there, and I don't know that I have room in here for this stuff. Oh, boy, this is really filling up quick. Um, yeah, we could throw that in there. And we've got the vines because we need to put those back. Okay, so now we need more timber. Town is coming along. So, next door, we talked about a brothel. Um, somebody even suggested a small house for the, the owners of the inn next door. But I, I, I want to keep them contained to the inside, I think. Instead of building them a separate little building. We'll have some houses over here. We are going to put in a few houses over on this side right here, probably. And then a little farm area right here. Just a small one farm right here with a little field. And then uh, maybe maybe three different kinds of houses that dot this hillside. You know, just something small. Nothing, nothing giant. Uh, what was I going to do? Uh, I'm so... You know what? I'm kind of scattered today because there's so many things I want to do. Oh, you know what we need. Um... We need a workbench. We need a workbench. Let's go over here to the smithy. And do I have enough stuff to make a small chest? I don't think I do right now. Just one of our small chests. There we go. That should be good enough to, to kind of get me by inside the building right now to uh, get things put away. This round table here, what does it take? A log, huh? Round table. I'm going to go with the, the regular... These guys right here. Let's take a look at one of these just for the size of it. I'm kind of curious. Upstairs here in the, uh, in the bar, in the tavern. I'm kind of working on the brewery and the tavern, I guess, today. I guess that's what I've decided to do. All right, let's get this guy put down. Nice. Okay, perfect. And we need that, that, that. Okay. Uh, the metal pieces we can keep on us. Because we need those. And then we'll throw these small stones over here, too. Perfect. All right, let's get this guy out. And let's go take a look and see what he looks like up here in the tavern. We'll start up here and work our way down. It's hard to tell if that's up against the wall or not. Um, we don't want to be right up against the wall. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> Bar Bear in heaven today. The streets of the village, the Morning Star Village, ran red with barbarian blood on this day. <laughs> All right. Um, oh man, there's some good stuff in there too. Uh, okay, let's go four. The bag disappeared already. Oh, there it is. Oof. Oh my gosh, um... I don't know why those bags don't open regardless of which direction I'm looking. And, um... Oh my gosh, it's crazy. I'm just gonna eat those two salads, they're not worth much health anyways, and we're gonna come up here 
And we're going to throw this club, hopefully, in here. Oh, it's full. How nice is that? Uh, we'll throw it in here instead. We'll smelt that one down. Yeah, the tool shelf is full. <clears throat> okay, so we've got a few of those things taken care of. Uh, inventory, again, and... I've got another skull. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and put this skull... There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Alright, so we were looking at the table up here. Let's see what we think of that. Yes. Um, you know what? Maybe just two tables up here would be sufficient enough. And then we've got enough room for the door to be a, a door, basically. So we have one big hardy table here and we'll have one big table right here and then that should be hopefully enough space to be able to get through here uh, to do what we need to do so let's get at least one more table and some more chairs oh my god I got all this stuff in my inventory um, inventory uh, we're gonna need more of this stuff right here let's do that right there I was gonna pick this table up and get this out of the way like so. And we're going to do this right here. Oh, you know what? Inventory. Hold on a sec. Let's grab some of these timbers. Back to number nine. I'm going to separate these guys just a little bit. So, then we'll figure out what we're going to do with that in between. I just want that, just so I've got an even gap in between here. We probably could get one more of those in. And let's go back to our inventory. We have the table on us as well. Let's throw this table right over here. What's it got on there? There we go. Beautiful. I'm going to throw that in there for now. And let's throw a few timbers in there too. Oop, that's a few too many timbers, but there we go. We'll do that right there. We're going to need those in there anyways eventually. Metal pieces, tons of those. Uh, but I think I've got to actually do some digging to get those. Let's fix the rail up here. And then we're going to make a bunch of tables and some chairs and see if we can't get that room looking like it's supposed to down there. And we're going to go down to number four on this because this is our standard here. I thought this would look better than the, the solid rail. Having this little gap of a rail right here. Oh, that's too far back. Okay. Let's go back to our inventory and let's take this guy out. And let's bring this guy back down here. And uh, you know what we can do? We can leave that right there and we can put another one right there. There we go. That looks good, huh? You can definitely see the uh, the kind of the alleyway, the wash going through here. We've got the uh, the bridge. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. I like that. <clears throat> stick, stick. All right, let's make up a few more of those tables. Let's make up. Oh, what can I get for what I what can, what can I get for my money here? One, two. It takes three timber, huh? Okay, let's make another one of those. Let's throw one more of those in there, and let's craft one more. Okay, and then we want some chairs, right? We definitely need some chairs. Uh, chairs, chairs, chairs. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six... So that's six. That's one, two, one. That's three. Yeah, that's six chairs. Okay, so let's make up one, two, three more. We've got room in our inventory for them. We'll take them. All right, there we go. Awesome. 
Uh, back to our inventory. Let's grab a table. Let's grab the chairs. We don't need this, this, or this anymore. There we go. Yeah, that little thing right there adds a little flavor to it, I think. Uh, we also have these round beams. Let's, let's go on up here. Like that right there. And we're going to do this right here. Beautiful. Okay, so now we got a little protective rail on the side. That works for me right there. In we go. Up we go. And we need one more table here. Let's go like this. I don't want these sticking out. They don't have to be perfect. I think it gives it more of a lived-in feel when they are not completely perfect. Can't quite push him in all the way. And I can't walk through here. I can't behind this one though. I guess I've got this table moved back a little bit further than the other one is. Can't get up on there because uh, the ceiling's too low. Yeah, that's better. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Again, thank you so much for all your uh, your help on this, this build. As usual, you guys have... Uh, really come through for me. Lots of great ideas and stuff. Been fantastic. Man, I tell you what, it, the weather here has turned cold really fast. It's just unusually fast. Okay, if we do that there, let's go back to our inventory. We've got some logs on us still. Let's get this guy made up here. Okay, I've got that. Number five, number six. There we go. Nice. We've got an awful lot of light up here, don't we? For just having a, this one standing torch down here. I'll leave that right there. We are going to need some standing torches, though. Um, let's go ahead and do... The rest of those up, and we're going to need this guy right here. Okay, I can't put the right one on there. It's not going to let me do that. That's quite fine. What about this side over here? We're talking about doing some timber support beams, so I like that idea. We'll go ahead and run with that. Now you can see that there's a little something going on upstairs there. We've got some tables and some chairs up there. Just so you know, you could spend all day doing this sort of thing. Oh boy, that's not quite right, is it? Yeah, that's not quite right. That's better, huh? That that looks much better. Much, much better. Yeah. Okay, so there we got a little something holding up the, the floor that goes over there, so that's gonna look really nice. So we've got a cup we've got a few more tables in our inventory. They're on number eight, okay. Let's work this out. We're gonna do These are going to have four chairs around them instead of having a, the six that we've been doing. 
Okay, so we've got three tables now. Now there's all kinds of dishes and goblets and things like that that we can put on here, but I'd rather take the time to do that on my own where it's gonna be this real tedious thing. Right now we're getting kind of an idea uh, as to what we're gonna do. Let's go smelt down some stuff and get uh, some torches going on in here. Let's get this out of here too. Uh, he's got a really nice bar mod as well. Let's try that out. And then Storied Pass Productions has got another uh, mod coming out here pretty quick. The next couple of days, it's going to have uh, actual paintings that you can hang on the walls, which I don't know if we'll be hanging paintings up, but uh, that's that's pretty neat. Um, okay, so there was a bar in here. Where is that at? We've got it up in the kitchen. This is the nice one. I like this one, the way it looks. Uh, we need to make more timber, lots more timber. Let's just do it this way. It's faster. Uh, where's the bar again at? There's one that's... This one This one next to it is very rustic looking. And I don't want to use that one. Okay, so that's there. We need more... We need more timber. Holy cow, man. We are burning through the wood like crazy here today. Just crazy like. That's okay. The forest is starting to come back. I had really caused quite a bit of damage out here on the forest. But fortunately it is starting to uh, come back. All these little trees that are right here. They're starting to shoot up and become actual trees because I've kind of left them alone. I've actually been going out uh, into the middle area more to harvest trees so that these guys can start to come back a little bit closer to uh, where we're building right now. Because, yeah, that was really chopped down. So if you do that and kind of spread out where you're chopping stuff, it'll be, it'll be better. Let's go through the front door and see how this looks. Oh, yeah, there we go. That works just great. You can get through here and everything. Uh, you know what I need to do is make a workbench and have it right here with me. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna work. Sun is coming up. Nice. Very nice. Inventory. Let's take, uh, one, let's take uh, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's do a few of those up. Let's get a couple more of those bar pieces put together. Uh, we're gonna need all that right there. We might as well fill that thing up with that. And we're going bar. I think two more of them would work out really well. There we go. So we've got two more of those. We're gonna get rid of that table. We're gonna get rid of that stool. Uh, the bar is more of a place for you just to walk up and say, hey, let's do a couple of, uh, yeah, sure, let's do one, two, three, four, five. Let's do, let's do some mugs up. Oh, there was a new, uh, there was one with antlers on it that Wolfgar's got on his brewery mod. Take these guys right here, and... Anything else we see in here? There's a nice, there's a nice little royal throne. This is the new working machine crush iron ore and double how many ingots the ore will make. Oh, really? Really? I did not. Oh my gosh! How do you make that? We're gonna try this thing out. We're gonna try that thing out right after we get this part done. Yeah, we've got to try that thing out. If it can double my ore, oh, that'd be sweet. It's a mod, though. You guys okay with that? Maybe I should ask you first. That's a mod, so it's going to double things up. It's not part of the actual game. That's a that's a, a mod by um, Story Pass Productions and one other person. Forgive me for not knowing who it is. Number nine. Oh, come on. These have got to fit up here. Huh. 
That's nice, huh? That is nice. Yeah, that's really nice. I might do wood on that floor in there, too. I might go ahead and wood that floor in. Can we make this crusher? Let me know what you guys think. I'm not going to make that this episode, but let me know what you think. Does that bother you if I were to use something like this to increase my ore production? Because that's pretty cool. Working machine to crush iron ore and double how many ingots the ore will make. Oh, see, that would be really great, especially when it comes to the glass, because we need all those metal pieces. That is pretty sweet. Uh, I also put in here Wolfgar's Royal Fireplace. I've got that one put in here as well. I've not seen it yet. Uh, we'll look at that in another episode, but uh, there's a lot of really awesome mods that have been uh, coming out lately that just look beautiful. And again, it's not... See, that's the, the problem I'm having with the, uh, the Iron Crusher is that it's going to increase how much I get. And, and these mods that you see here that I've got right now, these are just decorative things, you know? This is not something that's going to uh, benefit me other than the way the whole thing looks. And so that does not, that doesn't bother me. But let me know what you think. If it doesn't bother you guys, it doesn't bother me. Uh, boom. There we go, just like that. Throw some sticks in there, and we got ourselves a bit of a cookery right here. Uh, there's also some discussion. Let's talk about that right now while we're up here. About this being the living quarters. Some of you say, yes, keep the living quarters on this floor. This is kind of the check-in area. This is what it would be. Uh, don't turn it into like a dining hall or a dance hall. Instead, why not put that stuff up, uh, up here? The thing is, is that when we're up here, this is quite a ways away from the kitchen. So I kind of feel like the, the better idea would be to take this and turn this into the eating and dining area along with the kitchen area okay that's what this is and then we can do a small area where people would come in and kind of check in to get their room and stuff like that okay so that goes down here second floor of course is the rooms we've got three rooms up here I do not have a window in this room one of you said there should be a window in every room um, yeah probably so huh but we'll take a look at that again uh, we're not done with this build yet and then up here, uh, it was suggested that this be walled in so that when the owners the owners would come up and go through a door, and they would have like a private area where, you know, the public couldn't just walk up to the top of the stairs and say, hey, you know, I need another key for my room, something like that. <laughs> so you don't want that happening. Um, yeah, you don't want that happening. There we go. Nice. These are so beautiful. Come on. Nice. So we're getting ourselves a little bit of a bar now. That's that's cool. What can we do above the bar to make it look better? I was just wondering if maybe I could do something like this up here. Does it need a little roof over the top of it like that? Would that look cool? I think I need I need straw for this, right? I need wheat straws, timber, and wooden sticks. Yeah, let's 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 put a few in just to see. Hello, sticks. And we're gonna try these guys out too. Make some beer and wine and stuff like that. Oh, I think I'm done making furniture, possibly. Oh, I've got another one of these guys in here in my inventory right now. Um, what was I doing? I got myself kind of all over the board. Sorry, guys. I was like, I came in today and all kinds of things just started running through my head. Oh, we needed some wheat straws, huh? Let's put a couple of those in and see how they look. Um, I'm trying to think of where the most convenient place is to get wheat, and that's going to be right up in our kitchen area. Because... Uh, Going out and about is just going to take too long. We've eaten good today, though, thanks to the barbarians. <laughs> Those guys have been feeding us real nice today. Mm. 
But alas, I think we're done with them. And they're not being they're not getting stuck up on the roof anymore. They're definitely moving around. We found two in the village today, so they are definitely back to moving about. There's a little bit of wheat there. Uh here we go. There we go. Perfect. Oh, the hammer is getting pretty low as too, isn't it? Let's drop that off. Let's craft. Douse. Uh, let's craft this guy up too. And douse. We'll take we'll take that uh, throw it over here. And we needed a hammer. And that's going to go back there, and we are out of space. Okay. So be it. I can melt down those tools down in the uh, the royal the royal smithy, the royal forge, and we could uh, take those and turn those into metal parts. Because I need oh boy, I don't know how many I need actually for this build. It's it's a lot though. For this one here, there's a lot of windows in there. A whole bunch of windows in there. Just sort of a decorative thing out here. Yeah, that's not bad. Let me know what you guys think of that. Does it poke through to the other floor? No, it's not showing up here at all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got downstairs dining and uh, drinking area. Upstairs drinking area. We can leave this door open. Like so. We got our outdoor rook area to look out over. Now, let's ch let's check our inventory. What do we got space for in here? Not a whole lot. We do need to replace these vines. Let's go upstairs and out the front door of the inn. We're going to get these put back and then we're going to get some torches made up so we can do some decorating of do some lighting. No such luck, huh? Not gonna let me put you there. Too much stuff in the way. That's nice. Okay, let's do that. What do we got for metal? We got zero metal, people. We got zero metal. Uh, we got this guy right here. Let's craft. Okay, that's nothing. What do we got in here? We got any more of those guys in here? We got that guy. We got that guy. Uh, I got a brand new hammer in here. And we got that guy right there. Let's melt these guys down. And let's do that. And that. And no. Sorry about this. One in here, and we're going to make some metal pieces. Beautiful. Throw these guys in here, along with a couple stacks of sticks, and we're going to make our wall torches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's do that. What am I, what am I missing here? That's four, ten, okay, just one more click. Awesome. There we go, right under the skull. That's nice, that's nice. Get this out of here. Give him a work a light to work by over here. 
That should light up this area down here just fine, I think. We might want one in here. Okay, there's there's some torches down here in the brewery. We gotta work on this some more too. Well, for Pete's sake, let's go. Behind the bar. By the door. We take this out of here. How much light do we have left? Not a whole lot. Let's put one. Yeah, let's put one up here. That looks really good down here. I like that. Okay, that's great. Uh. Right there. Yes. We need one outside the front door of the inn. It's just we we need to we need to skip around a little bit. I'm having too much fun just kind of jumping around today. Nice. There we go. These are our work torches. Let's pull these guys down. Let's move these up to the next floor. We have no lighting up here at all to work by. Throw this one up here and we can throw another one up here. Awesome. And, 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 I want to open at least one of these guys right here. You know, we could move the living quarters up here for the people that own the place, but it's just, I don't want to put a bigger staircase in here. And I'm good with this being their, their living space up here, right here. Uh, we might as well not do that just yet. Well, for the sole fact that I think what one of you guys said was we should box this in. So we actually need a wall with a door right here so we can go in and go up into our private quarters here. So we'll have to work on that too. Oh, inventory. There we go, beautiful. Okay, we had one more table. We had one more round table here. Let's find a spot for this guy right here. No, not outside the front door. What are you, crazy? What are you, nuts? Maybe a table to stand. Oh, you know what? Right out front. Right out front. We can actually probably squeeze a couple of these guys in here with some stools, and you could sit outside out here, huh? You could easily do that. Oh, there is a barbarian up there. I did not think they were getting stuck up on the roof anymore. Wow, we did some work. Oh, that looks kind of stupid, huh? That looks pretty bad. That look whoa 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 What did I hit? Hit something there. Yeah, that looks pretty bad. Okay, never mind. Any ideas? Uh, you know what? This doesn't even go all the way down to the end here. I need to move this down. All this has to be moved down. And then the, the roof roofing probably be, would fit properly on here if I did that. I could put one, two, three pieces of the roofing over the top of this, and that should fix that up. All right. I think that's all I've got time for, guys. I mean, we did a ton of different little things all over the place, huh? We worked on the brewery a little bit. We worked on the tavern a bunch. We've got a little bit of the inn taken care of. 
Uh, the front entrance way to the, ta to the inn is taken care of as well. It looks much better. Let's take a look down the sidewalk here and see. Yeah, I mean, look at that. That looks that looks so much better. With the rail there, adds some life to the place, most definitely. Yeah, most definitely. So I would like to finish this project up. Next episode, I want to call the, the brewery, the bar, and inn completed and done. So we're going to have another episode where we're going to decorate it up, get things put into place where they need to be, and that's going to be, uh, we're going to call it there on that one. But uh, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Maybe the apple tree will grow up soon, too, because we're going to need the apple tree. There's all kinds of different food items we could be cooking now uh, to include the new foods that I've downloaded on Amad as well. So we got to talk about that, too, down the road. Lots of, there's just so many things we could do, right? There's just so many things we can do. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, hit that like button for me, comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 03. Have an awesome, fantastic, and a superb day, and I look forward to talking to you again next time.